Hello, everyone, and welcome to our session um, with Altria and Thurgood Marshall College Fund. My name is Ashley Adams. I'm manager of talent acquisition and campus relations with Thurgood Marshall College Fund. And I am super excited for this session today, um, Entrepreneur 101. So we have the opportunity to meet with some amazing territory sales managers at Altria and they will be sharing the art of being an entrepreneur, telling us a little bit more about what that role is, what it's like to really manage your business as your own business. What is your definition of an entrepreneur? For me, I think an entrepreneur is someone who has the ability to innovate with a basis. So with our job, you have a lot of flexibility to do what you want with your stores in your area but you also kind of have a safety net, right? Cause you're doing something new within the company, but with that safety net, you get to explore new ideas and new ways of thinking and doing. One that works for a company, but has their own schedule set as an entrepreneur. So they have the ability to run their own schedule, um, just kind of check in with their manager and make sure that they're um, on the right track but you still have the ability to pretty much run your territory, your stores as if it's your own business. What does your day-to-day -day look like? So due to COVID, it has changed a little bit. Um, when I interned, so I did intern and kind of get my position through Thurgood Marshall originally. Um, and then after I did the internship, I ended up getting a full-time position. So it has been a little bit different. Um, in person, um, well, since it's virtual, we usually have a weekly meeting. Um, it's a group of 12 of us on our market. We have a weekly meeting. We kind of go over what we're going to hit for our stores that we're going to target for the week. After that, I will plan out about 40 stores for the week that I'm going to hit each store. I do about seven to eight to nine a day. Um, and then from there, it's pretty much based on what the target and the market wanted for that week or for the month that we're really trying to reach our goal. I usually start out my day by myself, just realizing what I'm going to do for the day and then adjust as I go, to be honest, because since we have such flexibility with our time, you know, if I have to, you know, grab a quick lunch and decide to work on my email for a little bit, I can do that, then go to a store, then, or if I need to come home for something personal, it's one of the flexibilities of what we do on a day to day. But for me, it's usually that and calling my team. I talk to my peers every day about something. We collaborate on what we're working on and kind of checking in with each other to make sure we're working on the right things. And that, that's kind of how my day goes. I'll do a little bit by myself, call my peers, and then have some personal time where I can decompose from what I'm doing throughout the day. But it's, that's a typical day. My day-to-day -day is very similar to Adriana and Destiny. The one thing that I look at when I start on Mondays is what are the priorities for the week or the month. And I try to prioritize which stores I'm going to be hitting first. Mm -hmm. Like Destiny has said, I try to hit 40 a week. Um, and a lot of the times I, I don't make that, but it's still good because I have a lot of wins at the stores that I go to. How do you manage your time? Like, it seems like uh, with you in these roles and, and everyone has their the different way that they go about it. How do you, do you have a system in place to help manage your time while, while being an entrepreneur? Absolutely. Uh, I have a system to manage my time with respect to, luckily we have a program that we use that allows us to create a schedule for each day and it allows us to create it out as far as we really want it to go to. So I, uh, I do spend a lot of time planning. That is, that is one thing that we all are tasked to focus on to try to make sure, because there's so much work out there to prioritize allows us to hit the big ROI items first. Mm -hmm. and, and if we get to the lower level ROI items, then if we have time, we can do those. Can you share um, the benefits of being able to, to manage it your way? And I, I think I want to hear from everybody on this one. So we can start with, with you, Destiny, and then just kind of go around. What I do doesn't always affect my market as well. So if I wanted to um, have the flexibility to maybe go to a doctor 
um, have to put in time for a vacation, you have the ability to kind of do that on your time because it doesn't affect the market. And when it does, then I will reach out to the people in my pod and say, oh, can you pick this, can you pick this slack up for me? Or do you need something that I can do for you as well? And so we really work together as a team. It's not like a nine to five job that you clock in at nine. And if you're late, you're late. It, you don't have that. You can, you know, some days you want to start at seven because it gets too hot by two. Or you want to start a little bit later and end a little bit later because you want to see how stores react in the afternoon shifts, things like that. So for me, that has been one of the biggest benefits is there's no start and end date. You just kind of have your core hours of when to communicate with your peers, right? Because you don't want to call someone at seven who has kids and, you know, doesn't start till 930. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, it's always the benefit of flexibility. And the Destiny's point, you're accountable for your own time, being able to manage um, side projects, because we get the opportunity to do things outside of our role. That that gets nice, because if you want to start early and then work on that project at the end of the day, you have the time to do it. One good thing, especially being in California, there's so many different areas that it's not a one size fits all. So we have the autonomy to try to tackle the business the way, you know, in a compliant way, the way it's going to work best. Can we tackle some of the challenges? What are some areas that you feel um, that within this type of role that you need a little more discipline or that you have to really make an effort to, to be disciplined in? Sometimes time does escape you. And, you know, a day where I think, you know, I'll only go to less stores today and I'll pick it up tomorrow. And then that tomorrow doesn't get picked up. So I, I end up getting a little bit behind. Time management for me, even though it's a benefit, it's also the biggest challenge because mm -hmm. you only have a certain amount of hours every day. And unless each of those hours is really productive, it gets a little bit hard to keep up. So for me, it's, that is my biggest challenge is being able to manage my time every week, all the time, instead of, you know, 70% of the time. Well, I think the common theme here is going to be the time management, which is, I would like to spin it as a good thing, because that means there is a lot of work to do. And so the common theme of time management definitely, I think, is something that every TSM struggles managing just because of the workload, which like I said, that's actually a really good thing. I think we've really touched on the whole idea of being an entrepreneur. Like, what does that look like? This is what this role really requires. Um, but I hear you guys talking about like stores and, and different things like that. Can anyone share a little bit like, you know, what is, do you guys go visit stores? Are you like, what exactly um, does that entail? So we can, you know, share that, that information as well. Certain states are, look a little bit different depending on if you have chain locations. So usually your 7-Elevens, Arcos, Murphy's, different st stores around the, um, the U.S. And then we have our independently owned stores. So those are going to be stores that don't are, are just independent. And we go to both. And then it's different. It looks different for every store. And we usually have anywhere from 150 to 200 stores. We don't visit them all the time every month, but we visit the people who are going to have the most impact on our products. Absolutely. And so anything from selling uh, new products to selling new technology, it's been, it's been very different in the last couple of years uh, opposed to the past 20 years. And it's a growing, um, it's just a growing industry and growing technology. And we're really data driven. I wanted to ask you, Destiny, what made you join this organization? And um, Kevin, what made you stay? So we can we can start with you, Destiny. Um, what made me join is I actually got it through Thurgood Marshall. Um, my junior year, I had interned. Um, I worked on the same team. I was in Houston. Um, and then when I got the job, they actually let me come back to the exact same team. Um, it was the people that really helped me, that really made me want to join the company. Um, just it was a sense of freedom, which was kind of scary. Me um, moving here for a summer, not being from Texas, um, but definitely the people, the amount of knowledge that I'm know I'm kind of gaining from the company as well. I wasn't dad; I was more so marketing and finance while in school. So the company is really focused on being data driven, learning insights. So 
knowing that I'm going to learn something new and have a challenge. Awesome. Awesome. And Kevin, you're, you're going strong. So what's making you stay? Because I know in the beginning, you said you love your job. So we want to hear what has made you decided to stick with, decide to stick with all you. Absolutely. I, I would say the people like Destiny had mentioned is first and foremost, uh, the fact of being our own entrepreneur is another one. Like Adriana had mentioned, we set our own schedules. We create our own workload for each week. The autonomy is awesome. As long as we're hitting our numbers, we're in good shape. So that is really, it is like running your own business. These retailers, like Adriana had mentioned, the independent retailers specifically, we are their only contact to our company. And so really we're acting as if we are the owners of the company and we're there to do business at the stores. This has been really good. Um, I appreciate each of you for, for just sharing some insight. Um, it helps us get a, a deeper understanding of Altria and also just as a territory sales manager, I think it's amazing. You guys seem to be doing great work. Um, so thank you for that. I did want to just say for those watching that Altria is always looking um, for candidates for opportunities. So if you guys are anybody, you know, doing this is looking for an opportunity, you are intrigued, which you should be, you're ready to boss your own business like everyone here is doing, then uh, make sure to visit altria.com slash careers. So until then, thank you so much. Um, thank each of you and I hope you all enjoy your day.